May God bless us all. Dear children, as we continue this teaching and learning process, let us deliver ourselves completely into the hands of the Lord. Close your eyes for the prayer. O Lord Jesus, we have nowhere else to turn to for the help. You have been our role model to live this life we have chosen. Your sacrifice on the cross has helped us to grow in love and unity. May your Holy Spirit guide us and prepare us to become kind and loving towards the people around us. Amen. It's good to know that God has been good to us till now and we know that God will continue to be with us all along. Our topic in the previous chapter was about the importance of family in the apostolate. I suppose some of you remember the concepts that we've gone through. Family is an institution, ministry, mission community, a place of evangelization and a school of faith etc. What we are today and what we have become today to a great extent is because of the learning that we have from every family that we have. Today as we move ahead in this chapter, chapter 12, Apostolate through priestly life, we will know that the suffering, death and resurrection of the Lord has not gone in vain. So chapter 12, Apostolate through priestly life. So the content for the day, introduction, the status and duties of priesthood, the ministry of teaching, and then we will conclude today's session. Before we begin this session, let us have this scripture quote from letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 5. When Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. We know very well that it was the death on Jesus on the cross that gave us salvation. The letter to the Hebrews, we said the priest in the Old Testament served God daily by repeating the same sacrifice. If you remember the mission of God the Father is fulfilled through his son Jesus. He saved the world through his death and resurrection on the cross. The greatest missionary activity of priests who follow and share the priesthood of the Lord is to sacrifice one's own life. Though every Christian shares this responsibility, the very chosen, especially chosen ones, the priests are appointed to share in this ministerial priesthood. You did not choose me, but I chose you. That's what in John chapter 15 verse 16 says. So priesthood is a mission entrusted to every priest, proclaiming the word of God, offering mass and pastoring the flock entrusted to their care. When we hear about a priest coming to our parish as a new parish priest, we have certain expectations and it is very common that we evaluate every priest. The priests are the co-workers of bishops who is given the fullness of priesthood from Christ. The bishops and the priests remain as representatives of Jesus, the shepherd, the head of the church. He is called to be with Jesus, to proclaim the word of God, administer the sacraments, lead people to God. And so he has a number of responsibilities entrusted to him. Called to be with Jesus means he has to be there, full-time, dedicated person for Jesus. Proclaiming the word of God, the mission entrusted to every Christian, 
especially as a priest he has a greater responsibility in proclaiming the word of god administer sacraments and leading people to god helping people in their struggle difficulties and problems how do they fulfill this role by this they fulfill three missions of jesus to teach to sanctify and to lead to teach the word of god to sanctify people to holiness through sacraments to lead people to christ those who have not known him the fundamental mission of priest is to build up the church the people of god being with god being with people around him priests have a greater responsibility as a mediator between god and men help the faithful to pray and to know the will of god so a long way priests have a role in helping our people to know jesus to know god and to bring people who have gone astray from him the mission of the church is evangelization and the priests have the utmost duty to shepherd the people of god as a baptized christian every individual has this role to continue to spread the gospel the priest who have who is sharing the ministerial priesthood of christ have a greater responsibility in this field being close to jesus in sharing his priesthood the priests have this as their priority in saint matthew's gospel chapter 28 verse 19 to 20 says very clearly go therefore and make disciples of every nation baptizing them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit teaching them to obey everything that god has commanded you so beautiful message that jesus gives to his disciple and jesus gives to who the priests who are sharing the ministerial priesthood of christ in the acts of the apostles it is mentioned that apostles have been lived close to jesus had the conviction to be in the service of the word of god they had the first hand experience of jesus and they knew very well what jesus did so they along with the appointed deacons helped and corrected people of the early christians in christian communities worked with them shared with them corrected them solved their problems etc even the vatican council second vatican council speaks about the primary duty of priests proclaim the gospel to all the missionary nature of priest is manifested in the ministry of proclamation so the priest who share the priesthood of christ have a greater responsibility in carrying out the mission entrusted to them they are supposed to be the ones who proclaim the word of god they are the ones who are supposed to be in the work in of worker of in the vineyard helping people out solving their problem in their difficulties bringing back the lost ones supporting them in their struggle in their life administer sacraments it means children who are wanting to enjoy the spirit of the lord children who want to be with the lord by receiving the sacraments the priest help them to enjoy that sacraments the value of the sacraments the grace of the sacraments and the leading people to god people can live by by mere baptism one need not be with jesus but they may go astray it is the duty responsibility of priests who share the priesthood of christ must bring them back time to time help them out in solve in in the line of christ by this they fulfill three missions of jesus as we said earlier to teach to sanctify 
and to lead. The ministry proclamation confirms this mission. By the mere fact that we are baptized Christians, the mere fact that we are Christians, we have this great responsibility of spreading the word of God around us. Go therefore, let us take home today with us this passage. Go therefore and make disciples of every nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. Let us recapitulate today what we have gone through. The priests who share in the priesthood of Christ, have the primary responsibility of this mission that is given to them by Christ himself. Every priest is called to do three major things. To proclaim the word of God, to help people to receive the sacraments, to administer the sacraments, to get the grace of the sacraments and then help the people in reaching God, understanding God and leading people to God from their strayed life. By this they fulfill, as we said, three primary missions of Christ himself. To teach and to sanctify, to make people to holiness and to lead people to sanctity. The ministry of proclamation is the only primary mission of Christ himself and the ministry of proclamation confirms their mission. Before we end this, let us do a small activity or take home and do this activity as your homework we call it. Prepare a graphic organizer, prepare a geo. Choose a priest whom you like. It could be your present parish priest, it could be uh, his predecessors and write down the good qualities that you have seen in him. You can make it in the form of you know you can take pictures and you know you can do the activities that he does and the church and uh, the qualities, the characters that he has in his, uh, that you have seen in him. So let us conclude today's session with a small prayer. Jesus, our high priest, we pray to you for the grace that all our priests need to fulfill your mission entrusted to them. Help them to be a true follower of you in proclaiming the word of God, administering the sacraments, to leading people to God and continuing your mission. Amen. May God bless us all.